Hey, what up Snow Squad? It's your boy Snow and we are back again for another Roblox video and for this time guys we're gonna be talking about all the new things that we have received for the newest update here on Skyblocks. Let's go! How's it going guys? Yes, that's right. There are some things that were added again on our favorite game here on Skyblocks. And if you really love playing Skyblocks, don't hesitate and drop me some hashtag Skyblocks down in the comment section below. And if it's your first time here in our channel, what are you waiting for? Come on, smash that subscribe button. And of course, don't forget to freeze that thumbs up button for good luck. But anyway, this is the update log that we have received for the newest patch for this game. And as you can see guys, vending machine is finally here and you know what guys it says safely trade items by setting up a shop and of course i'm really excited to actually see that how it works how, how do you create it but anyway of course we also need to check the merchant quest the blueprints the carpentry workbench and of course there will be 25 pieces of furniture that can be made or crafted in game but anyway guys let's just head on to our vending machine i'm just wondering if it's gonna be here on the workplace Oh boy, there you go guys, this is gonna be our vending machine and wait a minute, um, they actually made the icons here a little bit bigger, yeah I think so. So here you actually need a crystallized iron which is so easy to get, green sticky gear, 5 pieces of that and 10 gold so I think we actually need to visit the slime area and probably I will just uh, speed it up maybe I will just be back when I got all those items required all right guys as you can see one of my friends just joined me just to you know give me some crystallized iron because for some reason after smashing these rocks like iron rocks for like 10 minutes or 20 minutes I still haven't gotten one but now that I have crystallized iron that means we can now create the vending machine and as you can see guys the materials that we need for the vending machine will be one crystallized iron and if you still don't know <laughs> for some reason how to get that you can get it randomly by just smashing those rocks like this uh, iron rocks that you can see here that's what Carl is doing right now so yep that is how you can get a crystallized iron and of course the green sticky gear can be obtained from the green slime from the slime island and for the gold of course you need to visit the buffalo core because I think the fastest way to get a gold is by killing those rocky mobs that you can see on the buffalo core island but anyway guys let's now craft one vending machine in three two one and bam all right so where is it um it looks actually big oh it looks like a fridge ah open how does this work all right i'm trying to figure out how does this work guys because i think that you cannot actually buy something and also sell at the same time all you need to do guys let's say you're gonna be selling something is to click edit and let's say I will be selling this gilded steel pickaxe for let's say if I'm gonna put that then I would be let's say the price would be okay this is the only thing that maybe will take a while because you know like in the discord server I'm not sure guys if you have tried trading there but let's say for example there are some items like the gilded pickaxe that are so expensive and it racks up like almost 1 million coins already so it means that you really need to click a lot of times but the good thing about that is at least it is much much safer no scam at all because of course the price will be there I think the thing that you only need to watch out guys is probably the number of zeros because let's say for example instead of 8,000 you might be paying like 80,000 because there's no confirmation when Window. So let's say for example guys I I will sell this for 900 or actually let's just put 1 million all right so let's say 1 million coins guys and if I'm gonna escape this look at the vending machine right now all he needs to do is just to click letter F and click oh actually I forgot the mode should be buy if you're selling the items the mode should be buy because the, of course the other person who will buy this needs to click buy so all he needs to do guys is just to click F and then buy boom all right so look at that minus 1 million coins on my wallet 
and I will get the Gilded Pickaxe. And if you guys are actually wondering how to get that money, because as you can see guys right now, I lost 1 million coins. All you need to do now guys is just to click edit and look at this thing here. We have withdraw and if we click that, bam, 1.3 million, all of my coins is there. It is so easy guys. If you want to use this because you want to sell something to someone, just click the mode buy. And of course, if you want to buy something, let's say I wanted to buy gilded steel axe maybe. Uh, yeah, I think buying something is actually a little bit more confusing. Um, let's say maybe conveyor ramp. All right, let's say. Let's say conveyor belt, I mean. So let's say I wanted to buy a conveyor belt and I'm going to deposit, let's say 10,000 coins. And I'm gonna put the mode sell. And of course the price, I can actually, yeah, I think it could have been much better if you can just type in the numbers, right? Instead of just clicking it. But still, like what I said, it is a lot better than risking your money, especially for those who got scammed already. I mean, if you guys want to trade on something before, you really need to head on to the Discord. I mean, if you're going to do it in-game, the risk of being scammed is really high because there's a lot of mean players out there. I don't know why they are trying to steal something in-game, even though it's so easy to get money here in Skyblocks, but yeah, they're doing that. Okay, so let's say for example, guys, 10,000. So let's head back out. And as you can see, guys, the button here now says sell. Right now on my inventory, I have 99 conveyor belt. And if I'm going to click sell, this should be 98 and I will get 10,000 coins in return. Let's try to check it. Let's click sell. Bam. 98 conveyor belt and I got 10,000 coins plus from my wallet. All right, so all you need to do now, guys, if once you have already found the guy who wants you to trade with, all you need to do is just to invite him to your island. Do not, again, guys, do not give the build on because you don't need to. Basically, all he needs to say is just to click F. Do not believe him, guys, if he will say, oh, you have to turn your builds on so that I can click it. No, you don't need to have the building permission for you to access this. You know what's going to happen, guys, if you will do that he will just steal your vending machine and probably do some damage on your current build on your island but yeah vending machine guys is really a very good addition on this game i really heard a lot of things about scammy here but right now trading is gonna be fun and of course there's maybe it's gonna help the market or the economy inside the game all right so the next thing that we need to check here guys that's gonna be the merchant quest and I'm not sure where to get it. Uh, do, do we actually need a table for that? Mm. Oh, actually, carpentry workbench. There you go. This is one of those things that we also have gotten. Let's try to put it here. And uh, okay, we need blueprint for us to unlock those other furnitures that we can craft. There you go. Defeat one pink or blue slime. Oh, okay. So as you have seen, guys, we have just gotten an umbrella blueprint um yeah it is an umbrella blueprint as you can see and this is something that we can put on our workbench earlier for us to learn how to create an umbrella and why is it umbrella that's not even a furniture <laughs> but yeah i think the quest here guys that you need to follow and do for the merchant will be something that's randomly selected by the I don't know, but the merchant himself, because there is like two same quests that I just did earlier, just for me to level up to level two. And as you can see, guys, the first quest is to defeat another one pink or blue slime. So probably if this is going to be the quest, it's going to be so easy, but that's just only level two. I'm not sure how many levels should you get. Um, I don't know. But the merchant for selling your crops doesn't have any quest. What about for the totems and also for the totems? So so yeah, so only four of these merchants guys have quests, so probably I'll just create a separate video of uh, maybe unlocking all of those furnitures that you can make. All right, so apparently you just need to click it and as you can see, wow, really? Red flowers? Um, wait, I do have red flower, but why does it show one? Oh, zero. Guys, look at this. Red flowers. I just need one. I have 24, but for some reason it's showing zero, but I'm not sure why. 
Yep, I think it's still bugged. Anyway guys, those are pretty much every single thing that we have received for our newest patch that we have here on Skyblocks. And I think the vending machine guys is really one of those things that we have been waiting for. But anyway guys, if this video helped you on some way, <laughs> don't forget to leave a like and of course subscribe to our channel. And yep, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys again on the next one. Stay cold. Peace out.